Metal Jesus here, and I'm back again with Reggie. How's it going, guys? We're gonna do a quick overview of one of my favorite RPG series, which is the Tales of series, so let's get it started. Okay, dude, so I know very little about this series. I, I'm ashamed to admit that, but I'm, I'm really glad that you brought over pretty much most of them, right? Yeah, uh, I kind of didn't know about them at first either. I mean, I've seen them, but you know, mm -hmm. I caught on. When I was in Korea, I actually got to buy one, which huh. was, uh, was the, which was uh, maybe the fourth game in the series called Tales of Eternia. And it blew my mind, man. Like I played it real hardcore, like all the way through, like I was overpowered, I was huh. like, the story was moving along, it's really cool. I've so. actually heard that this series in Japan is second only to the Dragon Quest series, right? And also Final Fantasy. Yeah, so it's like number three. Yeah, yeah. number three, yeah. Number three over there, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. So it, it's pretty popular, so. Yeah, definitely. Now, what, what system did it start off on? I started on the Super Famicom. This is actually a repro of it. Uh, they translated it for us. Uh, some people translated it for us, so I got that. So it's uh, actually in English then? It's actually in English, but the official release in America was the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Which okay. Is it's a bit of a downgrade. There's a little bit of slowdown in it. Oh, you know, really? It's, it's still cool, mm -hmm. but if you could get this one, this is the one to play. So, so, so that, it, so the the Game Boy Advance version is that technically the Famicom version? I mean, did they just translate it, or did they upgrade the graphics or anything? I think it's more of a downgrade. Kind oh, of. I see yeah. what you're saying. But okay. I'm not sure exactly. But it, mm -hmm. it is it's sluggish and stuff. At so least we got the game. Yeah, yeah, it was nice, and they put in the English voice acting too, so that was cool. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So definitely, uh, next game that was made was the. Uh, Tales of Destiny series. Uh, this one I probably got about a couple years ago, and uh, I like this one a lot. Uh, it's it's a it's it starts off like you know your your main character is like sleeping. He's like a, a stowaway on a, on a ship and everything. It's pretty funny. Uh, the battle system is more the same of the first game. Uh, is it in two D or is it? Is it's in it's in two D. It's okay. like side scrolling and everything. Okay. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I haven't beat it yet, so I can't really give the a better just of it, but it's definitely a game to have in the collection. I like it a lot. Hmm. Now, Tales of Destiny 2. Now this one right here, this was the one, the first one I got. And in Japan it's actually called Tales of Eternia. And uh, this one is really good. Like I really love this game. Unfortunately, I never got to finish it because when I was playing it, it was during the time I was in Korea in the military and the 9-11 attacks happened, so we were on alert, so game time was pretty much over. But I still have my save data and... <laughs> so you need to go back. <laughs> I need to go back, it's still there, and I tried it, but it was really hard for some reason, and I kind of put it down, but... Well, it, it's hard to go back to those games, especially if they're story-driven RPGs, and you're just like, what, what was going, who, what's going on, you exactly, know? Exactly, man, and huh. I feel bad that I haven't beat it yet because it's one of the first ones, but I will. I probably will after this video. I'm, I'm pumped up now, I'm, I'm starting to feel it. Yeah, so. yeah that's cool. All right, the next game after that, Tales of Legendia, PS2. I know people give this game flat because mm. of the graphics, but this is probably my favorite one because this, this is the first one I beat. Mm. This game is still side-scrolling, just like the other ones, 2D, but it's like kind of has like a 3D-ish polygon kind of graphics okay. type. Uh, Does it continue the stories, or are these all independent stories? The only ones that continue stories are sequels of each other, like they'll have like okay. a... Tales of Destiny Part 2, right. which is in Japan, but huh. they kind of relate. It's really weird to get into, like, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, how they rename them and stuff. Yeah, because, you know, okay. like, for example, like Final Fantasy 3 over here is Final Fantasy 6 over Oh, so they did that with more than just the Final Fantasy series. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. So yeah. it's really strange. Huh. <laughs> All right. Tales of the Abyss. Now, this game was fantastic as well. I still like Legendia better, but this is a better game, honestly. Uh, very long and very it's 3d ish so you, it's kind of like a has a you go around a 3d platform and you know battling on the on the ground and stuff hmm. i beat it really fun game uh i recommend any any if you see it grab it uh, they also have it on the 3ds which i have but i forgot to bring it but <laughs> yeah so many games <laughs> so many games man i mean this it's, it's good enough to play on the go that's hmm. how cool it is so yeah okay cool so next up in the series tales of vespera Dude, that, that, that case, that metal case is awesome. 
It really is, man. I was lucky to get it too, man, for a cheap price. I was very happy about that. Uh, actually, they had it at GameStop, and GameStop doesn't label their limited editions for used sale. They just sold it as a regular edition. So Stupid I got it. Stupid for... GameStop. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, of course, in this in this case, it was it a free review, right? Exactly. But the person who traded this in, though, probably got nothing extra. Exactly. They they got less than ten bucks for this. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Because they were selling it for seventeen. Uh, so. And it's worth how much now? I think it goes for a hundred bucks or at least a little bit more than that. I mean, yeah. I haven't looked, but hmm. yeah. That's cool. But the Vesper game, I mean, it was on Xbox 360 and I'm not really a fan of really playing games on 360. Not because I don't like the system, it's just that more of my games are on PlayStation and Super Nintendo system, so it's kind of awkward to play on the, the 360 I mean, for me. This is probably brought over to, I, I, I would assume, help the 360 in Japan. That, that's my guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, know, definitely. To, to have like a huge franchise like this on their console right exactly definitely and they actually ported it to the ps3 but only Ooh. in japan so they kind of like you know, oh okay yeah hmm. they, 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 i think it helped out the 360 at least in america it did i think it did yeah so the next game is probably one of my favorites too tales of graces f now the reason why i like this game so much it has like three story arcs in it now the three story arcs is hmm. first you start off as the characters as kids you get to play use them as kids and they're fighting with sticks and like whatever they have like little cool tools or whatever then there's the main arc, which is the game which they're a little bit older, like in their teens or early 20s. And then there's the final arc, which was added to the, the PS3 version of the game, which is the after story. Now mm. the game is, uh, it's really cool because I like the main character because first of all, he has different attacks, like different buttons you choose. Like you could either use a sword or you use the other button to use like kicks and then use them to combos and stuff mm. like that. So it's kind of cool. Uh, hmm. Uh, and so I, it sounds like it has uh, content that, that's exclusive to the PlayStation 3. It, it, it does, it does. It has okay. content exclusive. And also, I just recently found out about they made a special edition, and it only came out in PAL. I ordered it, but it didn't get in t here in time for the video, so uh, oh, okay. it was really cool looking. And I got it for a cheap price. Thanks to my buddy Casey. He helped sure me Sure you did. Yeah. Not in time for the video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you guys see this game, great game to have in the collection. Pick it up. Cool. So next game... Uh, no, this is, I can't really say that this is one of my favorite Tales of games, which you guys are probably going to get mad at me, but the Tales of Symphonia <laughs> Chronicles. Now, I had Tales of Symphonia for GameCube. I still do. I didn't bring it today since I had this. Uh, I couldn't get into it because the way the characters look, they just look kind of, and I know you're going to get mad at me because the Legendary ones look the same, but something about this game, the look of the game just really didn't suck me in. I got a look kind of far in it. So is, is this a remake of the, this is this is like an HD remake of HD, the Of, of the, the PS2 version, because oh. PS2 version had added content into it. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually beat the second game of the series, which is Tales of, Tales of uh, Symphonia Dawn of a New Age. I hmm. beat that one. That one's the weaker game too. Like nobody likes that game, <laughs> but I played that one, beat it, but I haven't played beat the first one yet. So it's kind of weird. Uh, so, so this collector's edition, though, it's a really cool, and it's frankly, it's a heavy box. So, what is in there? Uh, soundtrack, game, little uh, figures, action figures, uh, an extra uh, case for it, like a tin case for oh, okay. it. Okay. Uh, art book, uh, all kind of goodies in here. Yeah. The next game, uh, I knew I was gonna love immediately, uh, and that is the Tales of Zillia series. Now, this is my second favorite game in the series. And by watching the trailer, I automatically knew that I was going to like, like this game a lot. It, had a, it looked like it had a strong female lead character, which I was right by playing it. Uh, this is the limited edition of it. Um, I got this. Now, the limited edition basically comes with a little bit of, like, like I would say there's a, there's a collector's edition. And this comes with, like, more downgraded stuff of the collector's edition. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like a little, little, yeah, little... Yeah, like a, if, a CD, if a CD comes in, in a jewel case in this version, it'll come in a sleeve in this version. So, I see. So, yeah. And what you're pointing at here, too, is this huge box. <laughs> yeah. This is the box I got, and I got this way afterwards. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's got the game, it's got this cool figure, looks like it's got a soundtrack, and a book, and like an art book. Do you ever wonder, like, do you think people actually grab the soundtracks and like bump them in their car, possibly like <laughs> listen to them? Like... <laughs> well, you know, myself, I typically, if I do get a soundtrack, I rip it to iTunes immediately. Nice, dude. You know, okay. so th that way I, I, I don't mess around with it. And not only that, I don't, that way I don't lose it. That's right? true too. Because I want, I want it kept with its original packaging. Otherwise, I'll never find it. It'll be in some, you know, yeah, some, and, some and drawer it somewhere. Safe and, yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely. So. Yeah. All right, so the next game is actually awesome because it's a sequel to Tales of Exilia. With an even bigger box. Yes, bigger box. <laughs> I just went straight with this one That's instead of getting the regular edition. Uh, this game, now honestly, I like the first one better because uh, 
This one has a silent protagonist. He's not really all the way silent, but I like characters. I like to have them to have personality. Yeah. He's basically just a, just a guy that answers questions and stuff okay. like that. So it's still a cool game. Uh, the story ended up being deep, and it's nice to see the characters come back from the first game, and you see how they're doing a year, or I think it's a year after the first game. So this thing comes with a pocket watch, yep. a cat, and a figure. A steel buck. Jeez, how, do you remember how much this thing was? This is awesome. It was 129 or 119. I wow, think. that's yeah. really cool. It's, and it's beautiful. It is, man. I, I love stuff like that because the Tales of Siri hasn't really got much love over here. So when I see stuff like this, I have to support them to make them, you know, make sure they know that they they could, they could bring this here. Yeah, totally. So awesome game. Uh, I beat this one too. Uh, I would I wouldn't mind having a third game in the series, but we're probably not going to get that. All right, so the last game of the series that I have here, and this that is the Tales of Hearts R series. Now on the Vita, on the on the Vita, and it actually originally came out on the, on the hmm. DS, but uh, it didn't come out over here. Uh, I'm glad they did release it over here because it gives the Vita some love finally, and probably better graphics. I would assume definitely yeah. better graphics. I think they added a little bit more, of maybe a, another story arc or side quest. I haven't got all the way through it hmm. yet. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is that it, it, even, it has English subtitles, but it's in Japanese, which is is fine. But it, it, the, the translation doesn't feel like it matches up sometimes. Uh, usually, fan translations are a lot more dedicated to the original, yeah. but still, it's cool and it seems like a fun game. And I'm happy to have it in the collection. I'll probably be playing it maybe in a couple of weeks from now. Now, were, were there any games that we didn't include in here, like on the PSP and stuff like that? Uh, there was one, uh, Tales of uh, Which Tales one? of Radiant Mythology. Okay, I didn't, I didn't include that one. And that one is like more of a. It's a cool game, but uh, you create your own character, and it's kind of like you meet up with characters from other Tales games. They're like all in one world, which is cool. Hmm. Uh, I like it, but I don't know. It's just not. It doesn't feel like. It wasn't one of your favorites. No, it's not definitely. And the creative character is kind of lame too, because you think when I want to create a character, I want him to look like me. Yeah, right. There's no way I can get it to look even close to or even a cartoon version of me in that game. So it's like, nah, that's okay. But yeah, hmm. it's it's cool. So okay, well, cool. So this is kind of an overview of the Tales series, and yeah. um, you know, it, it's funny because I'm just starting to to dive into it. I. For whatever reason, I kind of ignored this series, and I don't know why. But I, you're, you're not going to ignore it anymore. No, 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 no. As, as a matter of fact, uh, I have, I, I forget which one of these, but I do, I bought my first one. Did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to diving into it, because people love the combat engine on this. Yeah. It's, you know, it, in, in these games. Yeah, and that's, the that's the way I forgot to tell you about in the games. That when you're in the play, when you're in the battlefield in the combat, the characters actually talk to each other, so it makes it, like, really cool. Like, they mm -hmm. actually, like, say stuff to each other, like a character gets hurt or is injured, they'll say, hey, heal you, or, you know, like, yeah. it's just really cool stuff like that. Like, they'll say, back off or whatever or relax or something like that the other so. the other thing too is these big honking collector's editions like oh man it's like i see these and i'm like oh yeah and i gotta slow down on them because i'm running out of room you know <laughs> like, i imagine i know it's the, like the tail series i give them a little bit more leeway because you know that's my favorite rpg series so huh but yeah. uh I'll probably keep continue getting collectors from Tales. I just you, you, I can't get enough. You can't help it. Yeah. Definitely. All right, man. Well, hey, well, thanks for coming over and doing this video. As always, I'm glad to be here. Yes, and I'm, you're going to be on other videos very soon. Yeah, finally. It's been a long time. Like I've been spending. I know it's been long. too long. So yeah, it's good to have you back in the game room. All right, man. Uh, let us know what you think about the Tales series. Post a comment down below. And as always, I want to thank you for watching my channel and thank you for subscribing. Take care. If you enjoyed this video with Reggie, there's a bunch more on my channel, including one where he talks about his favorite role-playing games on the PSP, as well as his top 10 Genesis games and a ton more.